Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Madden 25. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and the NVIDIA parameter. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is Game Bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again, capture, capture, make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode, honestly, is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's 4 gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all, full screen resolution, I really recommend to play native on this one. So if you have like a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p, 1440p, 1440p, just select the resolution of your monitor. 
Window mode, I really recommend to go with full screen. Uh, borderless, I was getting some random stuttering with it, so my recommendation is go with full screen. Border frame rate, this one is a bit tricky. I like to just unlock my FPS uh, to have the lowest input lag. The other option that you have is 120 FPS, but as you can see, you're getting a lot of input lag compared to the unlock one. But honestly, it's really depending on your computer. So if you're struggling with your thermal and you just have a 60 Hertz monitor, don't go tr too crazy with your FPS. And also, I didn't have any issue when I was unlocking my FPS in this game previously with their engine. Sometimes it's causing stuttering. So for now, it seems to be good, but if you have some struggle with random stuttering, uh, maybe it's because you unlock your FPS, so maybe you should just lock it at 120. V-Sync, I recommend to deactivate this. You don't want to add any input lag in your game. HDR, go with off. Uh, 3D Grass, honestly, if you want pure perform performance, go with always off. Uh, if not, you can definitely go auto. It's going to choose for you or you can force it if you want. Advanced Air, I recommend to go with off. You're going to get a nice 3% boost in your FPS. MBL Inclusion, go with off. A nice 8% boost. And the one that was selecting is the screen space uh, for the MBL Inclusion if you're, you're running it. Lens Flare, de Depth, Fog, and Bloom go always off. You're going to gain 4% over there. Iris Circular go with off. Mesh Quality can run medium, honestly. 1% different between low and medium. After that, you're going to lose 3% by bracket. So my recommendation is go with medium. Texture Quality, it really depends on the amount of VRAM that you have on your GPU. So if you have 4 gig and more, honestly, you can run uh, this game at high easily. So definitely go with high for this one. Shadow quality, I recommend to go with low. This one will provide you 16% boost. And the crowd quality also is a huge one. It's like 10% at low. So my recommendation, if you don't uh, missing too much FPS, just start with your shadow and crowd quality. Look at your FPS. If you need more, just change other stuff in your game. Motion blur, for sure, deactivate this if you want better visibility in the game. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Madden 25 guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, uh, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.